sites across our region working with the FBI and Joint Terrorism Task Force investigating bomb threats made to Target stores across New York, Vermont and New Hampshire last night. NBC5's Sid Buley has more on what we know so far. Right now it is business as usual for the Target in the University Mall, but it was a different story Saturday night. This was just one of three locations in our region with a Target store that had to close when it received an email detailing a potential bomb threat. This is part of what went on nationwide. Target stores across our region forced to evacuate Saturday evening after reports that a violent threat was made toward locations in South Burlington, Plattsburgh and Keene, New Hampshire. South Burlington police calling it a swatting event and likely not the last of its kind. I don't think this will necessarily be the end. Uh, these email type threats can be done with a great deal of anonymity. It all started in New York around 730 that evening when the Clinton County Sheriff's Office got a report from Target saying the Plattsburgh store on Smithfield Boulevard received a threat via email. Customers and staff had to evacuate while police searched the store, but they didn't find any suspicious or harmful items. According to the Sheriff's Department, similar threats were made to two other Target locations in Vermont and New Hampshire, including University Mall in South Burlington. The Target uh, uh, was closed for a brief period of time as uh, officers worked through clearing the building with staff there and then was reopened probably took about uh, 20, 25 minutes. The Clinton County Sheriff's Office says the email was sent by someone claiming that their goal was to cause economic harm to Target because of recent decisions made by the company involving LGBTQ plus pride products. Target removed some of its pride merchandise last month. The company told the Associated Press some customers vandalized store displays and threatened workers. Target also moved some Pride products from the front of its stores to the back in May. Going forward, Chief Sean Burke says customers shouldn't be afraid. We enjoy uh, a great deal of public safety in northwestern Vermont. Folks should not be intimidated by this. And local law enforcement on both sides of the lake tell us the FBI has taken over the investigation going forward with the Joint Terrorism Task Force. Police are still working to identify who is responsible for these threats, but we'll keep you updated as we learn more. In South Burlington, Sid Buley, NBC5 News.